Hello and welcome to my latest speed paint video. In this video, it will combine Inktober with Storytime. As a warning before I continue, this is a Gortober prompt day. And also a song prompt, technically, which is a box of sharp objects by the used. And even though there is no blood or viscera that is visible in this picture, there is dark implications within the piece. I'll have similar warnings on other Gortober pieces going forward um, on the other videos. Now that I've got that out of the way, on to the story time aspect of this video. This girl that I am thinking is named Rose. For those who don't know, I am a fan of Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, and I've created a female version of Johnny in the form of Ruby, um, as told by a video that I made uh, years ago. 11-year-old me tried to imitate all the aspects of Joan and Vasquez's comic. I'm thankful I didn't get sent to court over abuse of copyright or have a, law a lawyer from Slave Labor Graphics, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac publisher. I know Chris Chan had done something similar, and Chris Chan is a grown person, but I was an 11-year-old kid that didn't know any better and was genuinely influenced by Jonan. However, I doubt he'd be flattered by this imitation of his characters. Speaking of imitation, to spoil the seventh issue of Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, Johnny meets a dorky fanboy known as Jimmy, me, or Darkness. That's what Jimmy refers to himself as, and he was inspired by Johnny killing his victims. Johnny is initially underwhelmed by Jimmy, to say the least. Jimmy makes his own weapons and goes on and on and on over his admiration towards Johnny, mentoring, mentioning crimes that Jimmy himself committed. One being killing a teacher from his school, and the other a more egregious and horrific crime that Johnny himself does not condone. Jimmy commits S.A. against a girl he went to school with and murders this girl. Johnny warns Jimmy to go away because Johnny was disgusted with him. Jimmy ignores Johnny's warnings, and Johnny kills Jimmy due to... Jimmy's actions and his crimes. Unironically, Jimmy somehow ended up with a fan base despite the aspects of his personality being reprehensible, revolting, and horrific. I was one of Jimmy's fangirls despite him being the way he is. There's also people that ship Johnny with Jimmy. Yet again, I was one of those people. An infamous fanfic that appeared some on some website utilized the used song Box of Sharp Objects, where Jimmy does unspeakable acts towards Johnny and eventually kills him and himself. Yes, the bit is booed <coughs> up from what I can remember, but it did introduce me to the youth, so silver lining? Not really, more like rusty lining or a shit sandwich with one slice of bread wrapped around a turd. I apologize for the mental image. What does all of this have to do with this particular picture? The girl Rose is very similar to Jimmy, appearance-wise and personality. She copied Ruby, and her fate is similar to that of Jimmy's, a gruesome end. Rose had different appearances. She first started out as Jimmy's gender bent, and then a pink anthropomorphic rabbit for some reason because I had a tiny bunny mom got me for Easter when I was 12, and a human form. And now, somewhat back to a yandere-ish character going through her box of, well, sharp objects and a devious plan in mind for a victim. I hope you all enjoyed this disturbing little backstory of one of my oldest and slightly infamous characters, though infamous is just more of my own opinion. Thank you for listening to my story time. Don't forget to like, comment if you can, and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. Bye!